I know some of you are going to look at this title and say, Oh, you got some nerves like that. You got some big time nerve. Of all the people, the president of the professional piss and moan society, the Schleg Daddies, gonna sit there and tell us not to whine and cry about something. Yeah. Fair point. And yet, and still, I'm gonna do it anyways. Don't go whining and crying like you already have over the past couple of days because Goldberg beat Bray Wyatt, excuse me, Goldberg beat The Fiend, and now he's a world champion in WWE. Oh my God. Goldberg, Oldberg, the part-timer, beat The Fiend at the Saudi Blood Money show, and now he's the world champion. Him and Lesnar and world champions party like it's 2003 slash 4 all over again. Oh, brother, bother, bother. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And I just gotta say, like, if you really have a significant problem with it, why? For a couple of reasons. Number one, this is a big one to me. I'm sorry. It happened on a show that a lot of people weren't watching anyway. So what the hell difference does it make? It was on a Saudi show for the Saudis. Who cares? They're oil and blood money. Let them have their moment. Most of you didn't watch the show anyways. Let's be realistic. So what are you talking about? Who cares? Number two. If you've got Goldberg can give you anything at all, then why not find a way to utilize him? I know some of the matches aren't very good, but he's still a name. He's got a following. He's got some appeal. He moves some merch. Why wouldn't you? Why not? Do it while you can. Also, is this really going to hurt the fiend that much? Like, let's have a bit of a reality check here for just a second. In the grand scheme of things, if Brock Lesnar can lose to Bill Goldberg, so sure as hell could the fiend Bray Wyatt. I mean, if we're going to use that ultimate of ultimate measuring sticks, it's true, isn't it? If Lesnar could job out in a hurry to Goldberg, then why can't the Fiend? Did it hurt Lesnar? No. I don't know Lesnar's appeals that great anyways, but still. It didn't hurt him. It's not like the Fiend is losing to some jobber and some ham and egg or like so many other guys that you could have potentially considered to beat him for that title. It was Goldberg, Hall of Famer. Former big star, big name, name, face recognition. You know, a thing called it factor, star power, that is so lacking in WWE and wrestling as a whole now. Goldberg has it still. It's okay that The Fiend lost to Goldberg. Or some of you are going to say, Goldberg, I can't believe they had him lose to Goldberg. But you'd be the same knuckleheads that want the fiend losing to somebody like, oh god, let's let's make up midget names. And uh, let's not talk about the size part, just the blandness part. Mayonnaise Adam Cole! Oh god, I want him to win so bad! You'd want to turn Shorty G back into Chad Gable and send him straight at the fiend. Like this these are the tastes of a lot of you people anyways. So what the hell would you know? Seriously. The hell would you know? Not wrestling that's actually going to draw money. That's for damn sure. And then when you look at WrestleMania. Now, granted, they wasted no time. They just dove right into it, apparently, with Goldberg and Roman Reigns. Hell with the chamber. We're announcing it for WrestleMania. There's a little bit of story there between Goldberg and Roman Reigns. 
This is a match I'd actually kind of want to see a little bit. You've teased it before to Rumble. Like, I want to see this. I want to see how Roman Reigns measures up against Goldberg in terms of it factor and star power at the biggest show of the year. I want to see if Goldberg can have a decent match with Roman. I want to see if Roman can walk Goldberg through a decent six, seven minute match. And honestly, for a show that is going to be way too damn long with way too many stupid matches anyways, we could use a couple of shorter ones up to and including a world championship match, which, by the way, do we really expect that this one's going to main event any freaking ways? You know what? At this point, I don't even know. Probably a show without a main event at this point. But seriously... I would much rather see Goldberg drop the strap to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania than I would The Fiend drop the strap to Roman Reigns in a standard cookie-cutter, run-of-the-mill world title match at a WrestleMania. Leaves you something to do with Roman and The Fiend after WrestleMania. If you didn't have to go there, then don't. This is a bit of a swerve, isn't it? Something different compared to where you thought they were going? Uh, they're just building it up to have the Fiend drop it to Roman at Mania. But hold on, let's show you. Uh, ain't even making that far. And I'm okay with that, especially because I think there's infinitely more story there with the Fiend wrestling against John Cena at WrestleMania and getting his revenge and serving John Cena his comeuppance. Like, that stuff goes back several years, and when you talk about the revenge tour, and you talk about the Fiend getting back at the people that wronged Bray Wyatt in the past, there's infinitely more appeal and story there with a John Cena than there is a Roman Reigns. Especially because at this point in time, John Cena, for the most part, doesn't give a crap. He does it because he cons people into thinking he still loves to do it when in reality it's just a cheap, easy payday and a little bit of notoriety that will carry over to his wannabe rock film career. But a match between Cena with his guard down, knowing that it's designed for The Fiend to get over and to go over, and it doesn't really hurt Cena and it doesn't really matter has the possibility to have a much more fascinating, captivating, interesting story to it than a standard Roman versus the Fiend type of story. Like, we get, we get that type of match all the time. We don't need it at the biggest show of the year. Give me a matchup of fucking dudes, man. Men's men. We might not throw Roman into that category. You know what I'm saying? But... Goldberg versus Roman is fine, especially that match is going to be shorter. We're going to need some shorter matches on a fucking six-hour show! Whereas all the while, the much more interesting and captivating story to me, heading into WrestleMania, is not The Fiend versus Roman, it is The Fiend versus John Cena. The Fiend's getting his revenge against one of the architects of The Breakfast Club, and sign me up for that. And beyond all of that, and all these other reasons that I listed at this point. If you're upset about The Fiend dropping the strap like he did, you know, the reality is, if he was big enough box office, they wouldn't be taking the belt off of him. He wasn't. So they did. It's facts. It's reality. On top of all of that, it's fake. It's scripted. You know? It's one thing. It's one match. And he's a Luchador legend! That's not that bad. When that legend, just a couple of years ago, beat freaking Brock Lesnar in a minute and a half squash match! It would have been something if Goldberg had lost 10 straight matches in his return or something, but that's not the case! You could have a title match involving The Fiend at WrestleMania, sure, but if you don't need to, then don't have one! Goldberg versus Roman for the title is more interesting to me than The Fiend versus Roman or John Cena versus The Fiend. Yeah, like, come on, man. 
And when you talk about the world titles at this point anyways, if we are being completely transparent and completely honest, how many people are there that are really worthy of being a world champion, a true deal world champion anyways anymore? You got jobbers holding top straps. And you wonder why the heck the business is in the shape that it's in. And plenty of other reasons, I'm sure, to complain about the product. And I'm sure, since I didn't watch, I'm sure some of you that did will tell me how crappy that match was with Goldberg and The Fiend. I'm sure it was the drizzlings you know what. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's not going to kill The Fiend. They'll do that in enough time anyways. Be patient. Now... You don't have to have The Fiend job out at WrestleMania. It's a much more significant and important show. You can have him lose to a legend. You don't have to do that. You can have him beat a legend, excuse me, in John Cena, which is better than losing to Roman Reigns. Like, there are positives here. There are actual wins here. And I can't believe I'm saying this. I actually defend the WWE's decision putting the strap on Goldberg. Stop whining and crying about the fiend losing and blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. And it actually helps out WrestleMania more than if you didn't do it, okay?